Cerebrum. The cerebrum is the largest part of the brain, responsible for higher brain functions like thinking, reasoning, emotions, and voluntary movements. It's divided into two hemispheres, the right and left, which control opposite sides of the body. Cerebellum. The cerebellum sits under the cerebrum and is essential for coordination and balance. It fine-tunes motor movements, helping with tasks that require precision, like playing an instrument or riding a bike. While small, it ensures smooth and controlled movement. Brainstem. The brainstem is the body's life support system, controlling vital functions such as breathing, heart rate, and blood pressure. It connects the brain to the spinal cord and also manages reflexes and basic movements. The brainstem is divided into three parts, the midbrain, pons, and medulla oblongata, each playing a role in controlling essential bodily functions. Limbic system. The limbic system is the brain's emotional center. It includes key structures like the amygdala, which processes emotions like fear and pleasure, and the hippocampus, which is crucial for forming new memories and learning. The limbic system also influences motivation and behavior. Hypothalamus. The hypothalamus is a tiny but powerful structure that maintains the body's internal balance, or homeostasis. It regulates things like body temperature, hunger, thirst, and sleep cycles. The hypothalamus also controls the release of hormones through the pituitary gland, impacting growth, metabolism, and stress response. Thalamus. The thalamus is like the brain's restation. It takes in sensory information, except for smell, and sends it to the appropriate areas of the brain for processing. It's involved in regulating consciousness, alertness, and sleep. Basal ganglia. The basal ganglia is a group of structures that coordinate movement. It helps with voluntary motor control and also plays a role in habit formation, learning, and emotions. Corpus callosum. The corpus callosum is a thick band of nerve fibers that connects the two hemispheres of the brain, allowing them to communicate. It's essential for integrating functions between the left and right sides of the brain.